Star Alliance is the world's largest airline alliance with 26 members. And the great thing about airline alliances is that you can often use airline A to book flights on airline B for cheaper than airline B would charge on its own site. And today, airline A stands for Avianca, and we are gonna cover the European airlines and sweet spots that you can book through Avianca's website. In case you've never heard of Avianca, it is Colombia's biggest low-cost airline. I've personally never flown them, and I don't usually hear glowing reviews about the actual airline experience. But today, you're gonna find out why I and so many other points people spend a lot of time clicking through Avianca's website. Points people always say that the best way to find good award availability, especially in business or first class, is by booking your flights 10 or 11 months ahead of time. But what if you don't roll like that? And what if you want to book business class flights last minute? Well, Lufthansa is one of the best airlines for picking up last minute award space, and you can find and book these flights through Avianca. All right, let's go over how to find some flights on Avianca Life Miles. So when you go to avianca.com, you are going to be taken to this page. And then it's very confusing from here where you can actually go to spend your miles and look for redemption flights rather than cash flights. What you need to do is go up here and click on Life Miles. And then from here, it's still really confusing. You are going to have to scroll down and then past this QR code, you are going to find useful links. These useful links would have been really useful to put at the top, but you are going to click on redeem your miles on flights. You will be taken to a different site. You can go to lifemiles.com slash fly slash find, but if you don't remember that URL, you can just go to Avianca and proceed through those steps as well. So once you've logged into Life Miles, make sure that it's on English if you don't read Spanish, and then you are gonna wanna go here where it says Smart Search and change that to Star Alliance because the Smart Search actually isn't that smart. We're gonna search for one way at a time here, and the first route we are gonna look at is going to be Boston over to Frankfurt. We're gonna do one adult or child in business or first class. Click finalize and then go ahead and click go. Avianca Life Miles is one of the best ways to find last minute availability on Lufthansa, which flies into Frankfurt, Germany. So let's see if we can find anything here. And the nice thing about Avianca is it's going to mark with a blue dot what dates on the calendar have availability. So we see here in March, there's something on the 21st, 22nd and 29th, if we wanted to do that or we also have availability on April 2, 3, 8, and 11. So let's go ahead and click on the first available date, which would be March 21st. And then from here, we would see there's not really any first class availability, but we do have this nonstop flight from Boston all the way to Frankfurt in business class for 63,000 miles plus $26.70. So not bad at all to fly over to Europe. If we wanted to pick a different date or location, we can just click on change up here. And then instead of Boston, let's see if there's anything from IH. Which is going to be Houston over to Frankfurt. Let's see what we have there. All right, we have availability on the 27th and 28th. So let's go ahead and click on the first available date there. And just like we saw with Boston, we do have this nonstop Lufthansa business class flight for 63,000 points plus $27. Let's do one more example. Let's go ahead and change this to Washington, D.C. Over to Frankfurt and see what availability they have there for last minute business class or first class flights to Frankfurt on Lufthansa. So here we have IAD to Frankfurt. We have quite a few available dates in March. Let's pick March 22nd. Then here we see there's only two seats left, but we do have this last minute business class flight. As I'm recording this, it's about March 16th. So this is only a week or so out. And it's the nonstop flight on Lufthansa Airlines once again for 63,000 miles. The thing with Avianca is they don't really accept bill points or chase points. So if you have those, I would go through United because they're probably gonna have this partner airline as well. When I search for this on United, Washington DC over to Frankfurt, March 22, and then filter it down to the nonstop routes because there were quite a few available routes here. It's gonna cost 80.5 thousand miles plus $5.60 to fly this with transferring points through United to fly this Lufthansa flight. Whereas over here, it's only gonna be 63,000 miles. So depending on what kind of points you have, and if you wanna save a few points and miles when doing this redemption, I would go through Avianca instead. There are a lot of different points that transfer to Avianca, including American Express membership rewards, Capital One miles, or city thank you points. 
You can also transfer in Marriott points at a three to one ratio, but I wouldn't really recommend doing that. If you're just getting started with your points and miles journey and all of this is a bit overwhelming, we do have a free points 101 course for you to walk you through everything that you would need to know to make your first redemption. So check out the link in the description box or go to geobreezetravel.com slash free course. There are a ton of other European airlines that you can book through Avianca that are in the Star Alliance network. Let's take a look at how to book Swiss Airlines business class. Not only does Avianca work well for Germany, but there's a lot of other European cities that it works for as well, especially if they are a hub of a Star Alliance partner. So for example, we can search for Chicago over to Switzerland. Let's do Zurich. One adult, business or first class flights preferably, and let's go ahead and click go. And instead of doing the last minute flights, which we can still see here, let's say that we wanted to go over to Switzerland for Oktoberfest in October. Then let's go on October 23. And here you can experience Swiss Airlines for the same 63,000 miles plus $27. There's three seats left for here, or there's plenty of availability if you would rather fly economy for about 30,000 miles on Swiss Air or 30,000 on United as well. If you're liking these tutorials so far, please let me know by clicking that like button and subscribing to the channel for even more step-by-step -step tutorials on how to make the most out of your points and miles. While this video is mostly going to cover European airlines in the Star Alliance network, it is also worth noting that United Airlines is in the Star Alliance network as well and has some pretty nice Polaris products that you can fly to Europe. So here's how to find and book the award space through Avianca for United Polaris. Since United and Avianca are both Star Alliance partners and obviously we can fly on United Airlines by booking through Avianca if we wanted to, there are a couple of tricks where you can fly on something like United Polaris Business Class using Avianca. So let's search for one of those routes like San Francisco over to London, which would be a United Polaris operated route. And let's go ahead and click go. Okay, here we have results for San Francisco over to London, one way business or first class. And in March, there's only one date that shows availability. So let's check what March 28th looks like. And here we have the nonstop routes operated by United Airlines for 63,000 miles plus $27. We have a few different options here actually. And if we wanted to price out the same thing with United, I just searched for San Francisco to London Heathrow, March 28th, so it's the same day. This does look like the same flight, 7.50 p.m. to 2.10 p.m. Yep, that's the same flight. Over here with Avianca, it's 63,000 miles plus $27. And over here, it's only 63,000 miles plus about $6. So you would save a little bit in taxes and fees if you decided to go with United for this route and it does show us the Dreamliner so that's the nice plane for United Polaris in case you wanted to check what plane you were getting it'll tell you over here but it won't tell you on Avianca yeah it doesn't tell you those details here so you can double check the plane with the United site the reason to go with Avianca over United for this situation is if one you're running low on Chase or build points because Amex and Capital One and City don't transfer over to United. But also, even if you have enough Chase and build points to fly this with United, but you're like, mm, I kind of want to save my points for Hyatt redemptions, which is what I normally do. Or if you wanted to save your build points for American Airlines, since that's the only flexible currency that'll transfer over to American Airlines, you could save your Chase and build points and instead use something else and book through life miles for pretty much the exact same cost. It's just gonna cost a few more dollars. You can earn points for Avianca redemptions with cards like the Amex Platinum, Amex Gold, Capital One Venture or Venture X, City Premier, or many others. But how do you know which cards are best for you? I wouldn't recommend opening 20 cards just to hope that the right one is somewhere in that stack. Instead, I offer free credit card consultations to provide you with personalized recommendations based on your particular travel goals, budget, and lifestyle. You can sign up at geobreezetravel.com slash consultations, or you can check out the link in the description box. One destination that a ton of people would love to go visit is Sweden. Although you rarely find any points and miles content, talking about how to fly there using a reasonable number of points and miles. You can actually use Scandinavian Airlines, AKA SAS, to fly to destinations like Copenhagen, Stockholm, and Oslo. Here's how to book it through Avianca. All right, next up, let's look at another airline that's part of Star Alliance. We are gonna fly on SAS, which is a Scandinavian airline. So let's search for New Jersey over to Stockholm, Sweden. And the most popular airport for this is actually Copenhagen. There's a couple routes that fly over to Oslo, but let's see if we can find anything for Sweden over here. 
And once again, we are seeing something for March 28th. Let's actually see if there's anything in April as well. And we'll go over to April 2 or April 3. So there's a few dates of availability. One little quirk with Avianca is just because it says there's availability on a date doesn't always mean there is availability on a date, which is kind of frustrating, but it will tell you what dates there are available routes instead. So maybe here is the 29th, or we scroll over here to April 2nd, we will see availability here as well. So if we scroll down and look at our options, we actually have a lot of mixed class, which is what happens if you see this bar span between economy and business. If we just wanted to fly on SAS, then we can fly economy for 20,000 miles from New Jersey over to Sweden. But if we wanted to look at these different routes too, this one is gonna be mostly an economy. This one's economy. This one's economy and business from the Frankfurt to Stockholm route. And then this one is going to be mostly in business. I don't know why it says mix instead of just saying it's all in business, maybe because there is that short layover in Zurich. So this one you'd be flying Swiss Airlines again rather than a nonstop over on SAS because it doesn't look like on this date there's anything that is a nonstop on SAS or anything that has SAS in business class, but you do have this Swiss option for this particular route or you could fly in SAS nonstop in economy. If you like the style of these step-by-step -step redemptions and you have a specific trip that you'd like a tutorial for, we can prepare personalized step-by-step -step video tutorials for you through the GeoBreeze Travel Patreon. And each month, we offer live group coaching as well. Check out the Patreon by going to patreon.com slash travel or by clicking on the link in the description box. Our next European Star Alliance partner is Brussels Airlines, which offers direct flights from Chicago, Washington DC, and New York City. Here's how to book an award flight on Brussels Airlines using Avianca and what to do if the award space that you find isn't what you expect it to be. All right, let's go over how to book another airline in the European Star Alliance network, which would be at Brussels Airlines. So we're gonna search from New York over to Brussels and see if there's any business or first class availability. We have a few dates here in March and we have a few dates in April as well. So let's go ahead and pick April 7. All right, and here we have one mixed option and even though it says mixed, it's because you have the option to do economy or business for this last leg. So most of this is gonna be in Air Canada. It doesn't have the direct flight from JFK over to Belgium, but if you wanted to do this route, it would be the same 63,000 miles, all in business class. You'd fly from JFK to Canada, over to Frankfurt, and then to Brussels from there. And then you would just get to experience Brussels airline for this last piece. One thing that you can do if you really want to fly that direct JFK over to Brussels route in Brussels Airlines is instead of just saying Star Alliance, you can search for the exact airline you want to fly, which is Brussels Airlines. And then you have to type this in again. Then let's say one adult or child in business or first class, and then see if it gives us the availability for the dates where that actual route is available. So we still have some March availability, but that April, availability we just saw went away so let's see if we click on march 17 if this actually comes up with anything yep so we now have this direct flight showing up where it's 63,000 in business class direct from jfk to brussels so if there's a particular airline you want to fly you could search by that airline specifically and that might help to narrow down results What's your favorite country in Europe or the one that you would most like to visit? Let us know in the comments. Most of the tutorials that we've shown today have been for Western Europe, but if you want to fly to Eastern Europe, you can do that with Star Alliance partners booked through Avianca as well. Here's a quick tutorial about how to book lot Polish business class flights through Avianca. Another airline that you can fly in the Star Alliance within Europe or over to Europe is lot Polish, which is the national carrier of Poland. So let's try to find a flight from New Jersey over to Poland in first or business class. We have one date in March, and then we have a date in April. So let's try April 3rd, see if that gets us anything. And here we have this flight from New Jersey over to Warsaw, operated by La Polish nonstop, eight and a half hours in business class for 63,000 miles plus $27, only one seat left for this guy. But if you wanted to jump on some last minute availability, this is an excellent way to find some flights to Europe. If at this point you are super confused, I do want to let you know that I give out free one-on-one -on -one points coaching calls each week through the GeoBreeze Travel newsletter. You can ask me about earning points, redeeming points, credit cards, 
or the secret stuff that I can't really post on Instagram or YouTube. Sign up at geobreezetravel.com slash free dash coaching or check out the link in the description box for that as well. All right, we've covered a lot of different airline options today, and this video is starting to get kind of long, but I did wanna cover one more Avianca sweet spot that all the blogs like to talk about, which is perhaps the best Avianca sweet spot of all, but you might run into this problem. So just because you find a blog or this video says a certain route exists, does not necessarily mean you're going to be able to find availability with that route. For example, this Thrifty Traveler article says that with Avianca, you should be able to fly New York to Lisbon for 35,000 miles one way in business class. When I searched, and I filtered it down to Tap Portugal, because that's the airline it would be on, one way, New York to Lisbon in business or first class, I did not find any availability at all for the entire year. So that's just kind of the nature of the game. Airlines don't necessarily release award space on your schedule. So if I really wanted to take this route, I would just search again in a couple weeks, maybe a couple months or whenever I am looking to travel to Portugal. So if you're seeing some of these tutorials and you're like, oh, I can't find the exact same thing, don't worry, it's probably not you. And then just check again later because award availability does come and go so often. I hope you found those tutorials useful. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Avianca since we really only covered one continent today. Comment below if you're interested in part two with even more Avianca sweet spots. And in the meantime, I think you will enjoy watching this video next.